Hi, this is Jim Schneider, editor of Plumbing Engineer and PHC News, coming to you from Frankfurt, Germany, where I've just attended day one of the Ish show here. Uh, I have to say, everyone told me it would be really big and you really would expect a lot of walking and all that kind of stuff, but my goodness, I had no idea. It's really difficult to prepare for just how big this show is. I mean, for those of you who used to go into trade shows in the U.S., imagine about 10 McCormick places, all full of exhibits. This thing is just absolutely enormous and really, really incredible. Some really amazing exhibits here. I just scratched the surface today on day one. but got, uh, got to see some really cool new technology and talk to a lot of folks. Uh, stopped off to visit the good people in Beastman and uh, saw some, well, a couple different things there. First of all, some really interesting alternative energy solutions they're offering, uh, doing things like energy capture from biogas and uh, heat, actually creating heat from ice, which is, you know, or storing heat with ice. It's a really amazing head-turning kind of concept. But also they've got some, uh, uh, they have some condensing boilers uh, for the U.S. market um, and an upgrade of a, of a boiler that they had been offering here. Um, so that's something new from them. I also met with folks at Baxi, um, and they've got, for the European market, a really interesting um, hybrid system that uh, combines uh, a condensing boiler with uh, a heat pump, and also it involves solar in, uh, in the running of it and some solar thermal. But for the U.S., they've got a couple products. Uh, Baxi Duotech is a condensing boiler with uh, a system called GAC, uh, which stands for Gas Adaptive Control. Uh, this is, and also includes a sophisticated new uh, control system. And they also have a different uh, product called the Duotech MEP, which, or I'm sorry, Duotech MP, uh, which also uses the GAC technology, uh, and it's a light commercial product. Um, so that's some interesting stuff from Baxi. I uh, met with uh, some folks at Puderis, uh, and they've uh, got a lot of solar solutions there shown here. A lot of solar to be seen at this show. Obviously, we're in Germany, and solar is pretty big here. From Puderis, uh, they have an easy control a new software that they have, it's kind of like run on um, uh, iPads, iPods, that kind of thing, uh, uh, tablets, so you can control your your, uh, your systems that way. Um, Bosch has uh, some other interesting stuff, unfortunately not for the U.S., but a really cool uh, industrial uh, heat, uh, waste heat, basically, waste heat, from, waste heat from industrial applications can be captured and turned into energy, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, we've seen applications in the past where the heat is used as heat, but this is a, an opportunity to use some of the excess heat that isn't really needed for heating and use it for uh, energy. I also stopped off to see Voler, and they've got some really cool new uh, flu and, and pipe testing gear. Uh, the A400 and A500 uh, for residential, uh, they say A400 and A500 is for commercial applications. Um, also interesting is this uh, VIS line that they have, and that stands for Visual Inspection System. The VIS 250 and 350 both have uh, cameras with long cables and a tracking system, which allows you to actually find, you know, see where the camera is in the system, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, the 350 even has this uh, this, this pan and tilt feature to the camera, which is uh, really cool because you can actually look around within the pipe, and that's something that we haven't seen before. So pretty interesting stuff. So this is just a couple things I've seen on day one. I've seen a lot of other things, but just wanted to give a quick summary and looking forward to day two.